I don't like running. Never enjoyed running because I always took running as punishment from baseball and boxing. Every time you made a mistake, it was always go run. My son was a marathoner. And uh, I never ran with my son. Never got a chance to run with him because my son was actually driving home from work and uh, fell asleep. In the process of losing my son, uh, I lost reality. And I couldn't cope with losing the child, so that's what actually brought me here. Five, six, seven. For about a month, I was wandering the city not knowing where I was at. I didn't even remember coming to the mission. One of the counselors brought back on my feet to the mission and thought that I was definitely something that I needed to do. One of the big, huge components of Back My Feet is no one runs alone. The point of this is not to outrun somebody, it's to uplift somebody. It's meeting people where they are. And it's not about how far and how fast, but it's what happens during those miles, which is so important. Back of My Feet was founded in 2007 in Philadelphia, and the concept of the morning run with Back of My Feet started day one. All the members had to sign a commitment that they would attend the morning run every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 5.30 to 6.30 in the morning to show a high level of commitment to be in this program. It starts with putting one foot in front of the other for a month, and then they start to get some job training through our partners. And then after three months, they're eligible for financial aid. 12, 11. There's obviously need across America for the work that we do, but we want to grow in kind of an organic way. There is no simple solution. It's just like a marathon. You set some goals and you get to a finish line, and that's what we're doing on a larger scale. People sign up for it because they want to see some transformation. The act of running gives them that feeling of accomplishment. What makes Back of My Feet a little bit different is the volunteers are there to make sure you don't quit on yourself. It's those conversations. It's those warm-ups. It's that circle up. It's that serenity prayer. God will not be done. That's what it's all about. That hour, you forget about everything except for connecting with another human being. First time I ran, I actually thought it wasn't gonna last. But then I just ran with it. I mean, something I just felt like, okay, this is something I, I like to do, and I definitely learned to enjoy it. It was an outlet for me. Quality time with my son, time with my God, and uh, yeah, therapy. When I lost my son, my faith in God was actually shattered. So, I mean, coming there was something that helped me get my faith back. They seen something in me that I wasn't seeing in myself because I graduated the program and they offered me a job. There you go. There you go. That's the only person. Some people just come in just to want to be a part of something. But the growth in the person is, I mean, that's what makes me happy. You come out here, give it your all, and that's it. Leave everything right here. The power of running can help change people's lives in a really unconventional way. Come for a morning run with us and you can see it firsthand how it can. That's when it all happens, early in the morning, when, when the rest of the world is asleep. Everyone we go, run! Ah!